Hi there, it's Beverly over at Crafting Chaos and I'm on here again responding to a request that I've had in one of my Facebook groups that I belong to related to the Brother Scan and Cut. And the person that I'm referring to actually asked how it's possible to do um, a four stitched edge around a sentiment or a shape or whatever. And what she'd actually seen it on was a card that I'd made for my nephew, who's going to be one next week. Um, and this is basically what it was. Now, what I've used the scan and cut in a couple of places on here, mainly to cut out the images, but then also to create the greeting. I got the brother scan and cut to draw the greeting. And I've already done a video that's on my channel that shows you how to use the brother scan and cut type converter to convert um, a font into an SVG file that you can then get your brother scan and cut to draw. Um, what I actually did when I made the card is not only did I do the um, happy first birthday text, if you will, from the what I'd imported from my um, text converter, but I also then went on to add some shapes so that I had a matting layer and also a layer that had four stitching around the edges. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm not going to go through the um, process of making the text again, because I've already done a video just recently on that. But I will concentrate on showing you how to do the four stitched edging. Okay. Um, incidentally, if there's any interest on um, seeing how I went about cutting the images out or putting the card together, I'd be happy to do a video on that if, if that's of any interest. Okay. Well, I'm going to close that now so we can get to our... Um, canvas workspace software which is the free web web app that we can use that brother provide us for free of charge right i've already imported the text that i've done and manipulated it in the way that i showed you in the previous video making sure that any of the bits in the middle of the letters that would be colored in as well have been removed so that now it's just going to draw the happy first birthday teddy the next step would be to go to your basic shapes. Now, the last time we used an oval, but just for um, a change or for something a bit different, I'll change it. I'll change it to say maybe an oval. We'll try an oval shape. Bring that on. Now, remember, I can adjust the size of the oval to a different size so that it will fit my machine. So I'm just adjusting the height and the width manually by using these circles which are called drag handles if you will. You have some in the corners and some on the edges. So I'm just using those to do my happy first birthday teddy. And then I'm going to go into edit and align the um, two, sorry I should say that again. I'm selecting everything so both the happy birthday and the now sort of squashed up cloud almost looking shape which might actually look nice on that card in retrospect but there you go um, and I'm lining that up vertically and also horizontally so we've got vertical this one with obviously the vertical line shown in the middle and lined up horizontally in the middle again shown in the middle of the two shapes and when we come off that's positioned the happy first birthday teddy exactly at the center now for my purposes, just for now, it's the inner, inner sort of the outer shape, if you will, the cloud shape, we'll call it, that we're interested in. So we're going to create an offset line and we do this by doing these steps. So we go edit and then we will come down to this icon here that looks like um, a target, I think. It looks like a bit like a, a bullseye on a dartboard or something similar. And it has like what I, looks appears to be an H, but it's actually just showing you that that's offsetting a line and it's showing you the distance between one line and the other. It's actually not a, a, not a, not a H. So when you quick click on that, you get create an offset line. Now, you can adjust the line. You can have it um, offset by up to a maximum of 1.2 inches or as low as 0.04 0.04 inches you can also set it to be inward or outward now as I want to draw a dotted, a dotted line or a dashed line on the inside which would represent my four stitching I'm going to click inward so that's what I'm going to choose okay 
I'm going to leave it rounded because I want it to go around the corners and I'm also going to set it as a drawing line because I just want it to draw that line, I don't want it to cut it. So I've selected those, those are the things I've set it 0 0.08 inward, set as a drawing line and round. Now you can choose to use a larger offset or a smaller offset, not much smaller but it will go on smaller. And we're going to say OK. Now as you can see that has put an offset line on the inside of the shape and if I click right on the outer side that selects the outer bit and if I click off and somewhere onto the page so I'm not selecting anything and I if I just zoom in just ever so slightly if I get now my crosshairs onto that second line in the one that I've just created you'll see that this bounding box which is this blue dotted line dash line going round just that area you can see the other one is now not selected so I've got that selected and then I'm going to go to view show properties and when that show properties thing comes up we've got lots of things we need to do in there I'm going to make sure it's still a cutting line and when you look down here you can see dash pattern at the moment it's on a solid line and if you click on that there are a variety of lines that you can choose. There's your dash, dash line, your dotted lines and so on. Um, so you can get them close together, spread out. And I think for today's video, I'll choose that one and just have a look at it and see if I like it. I think that looks okay. I hope you do too. So I've got that now set as a, cut, uh, sorry, a cutting line and I nearly wanted it as a drawing line. So I am going to put that right now, I do apologise. And it's the outer line so I'm clicking on the outer line that I want to make sure is a cutting line so I've done it the wrong way around now we've got it right okay so now we've got drawing line and cutting line okay the bit in the middle at the minute I can't see because it's at the back so I'm going to send these to the back each of those sorry excuse me down to the back and select the next one and send that down to the words back that should make it impossible for me now hopefully to select my happy birthday teddy and it has done and I can see that that still has a drawing line I don't need to fill the area because it's just a single line piece of text if you will from a font that was very very fine lined so basically that's how you would do it. Now I'll just show you that sort of steps on a different shape just so you can get the idea. So if I just drink, drag in sort of a random shape and just for now I'm going to select everything there and move that up out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So you've got dragged on the shape that you want to create your um, dashed line or your four stitch line if you will. Go to edit and this again looks like a H but remember it's just saying that you've got a distance of a create and offset. I'm going to move it back down again to excuse me 0 0.08 say OK. That will then give us an offset line that's inward. Uh, the moment the outer one's selected so I need to click off somewhere so I've not selected anything at all then make sure the crosshair, so this crosshair that I'm referring to is this that looks like a cross now as I'm hovering over the second line or the inward line. Click on that and you'll see it's just collect, um, selected the inner line. So then you'll click again on drawing because we want it to be a drawing line that one. And then um, I'll choose a different one this time so you can see the different effect. Um, did I choose that one this time? Maybe a smaller one but close together. So that would be a very, very tiny effect, but that's the process. Now, if we go on that, so that we want to be a cutting line and the inner one would like to be a drawing line. So now those two are still independent. Now, I would suggest um, when you drag those onto a cutting, uh, sorry, onto a USB stick for sorting out the next step on your Brother scan and cut I'd suggest that you save them ungrouped purely because I've found that when you open them up on your scan and cut for whatever reason if you don't leave them ungrouped 
it wants to draw round the bit that you just want it to cut, which is fine if you don't mind it drawing it, but if you just want it purely to cut, it can be a little bit frustrating. Now, just as another sort of aside, if you will, from that, just to show you how you want, might want to add a, a sort of matting layer for that, because remember, this would be just one piece of white card cut like a triangle shape with a dotted line drawn on it. If you then wanted to put a, a different coloured card piece of cardstock behind it as a matting layer, again, it's a very similar process. So all you would do is, again, make sure that the outer edge is selected, the outer edge line, then go to view and then, uh, sorry, edit and then offset line, create an offset line. Maybe make it 0.08, keep it the same if you wish, make it bigger if you want. We'll do it 0.12 just to make so you can see the difference. And this time, obviously, because we want it to be a matting layer, we need it to be an outward offset line. So it's going to make a bigger shape around the bottom shape, but the one on top would fit on it perfectly, leaving a border of 0.12 inches all the way around. So click that now, say OK, and that's put a border around it for us and if I send make sure first of all that that's at the very back before I do this step so I did edit and sending it back and these are just showing you what you, if the dark one at the bottom is showing you the position of that layer so if it's right at the bottom you know that's right at the bottom of the stack or that one would be the same that's sending it back one layer that's sending it right to the very very back so then what you do or you just you could color that just to see what it would look like and that is what you would get so let's just take the colour out of that one so that would be your white one on top with the dotted line with a, a yellow matting layer underneath and obviously it can do dependent on the colour of card you cut that out it can be any colour you wish all right so that's it for creating the file all you do then is give it a title project title so it'd be some sort of sentiment i'm just going to put teddy birthday because that's what it was and you would save that again don't be overland or alarmed at overwriting the project as long as you're page was blank to start where you're not actually overwriting anything that you've already done say okay that's done and then download it in the usual way don't worry about this message because i'm only going to be drawing that it's not an issue and it's probably just a dot off the eye or something like that that it's removed but the text seems to stay intact um so just say okay don't worry about it Download to your PC and stick it on a memory stick or if you don't have that option then if you sorry if you have the option to send it across Wi-Fi do it that way because it's obviously quicker and much more convenient but I'd, I'd download that now to my stick and it would then be ready for cutting and drawing all right so that's it for the part one of this video um, if you want to see how the file came out have a watch on part two um thank you very much for watching if you've liked the video and it's helped you please like share and subscribe to anyone who you think might be interested in this the channel will be all about things crafty that's the plan but it will be several crafts not just um scan and cut it'll be stamping it could be card making scrapbooking knitting crochet because i am interested in lots and lots of crafts and i've got lots of skills that i could hopefully share with you lovely people out there who are crafters the same as me and hopefully i'll see you again in my next video thank you